What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am doing something that has been requested a lot lately. I don't know why you guys go to me for fashion advice because let's be real, I have no clue what the hell I am doing. But a lot of you guys have wanted me to do a concert outfits video and I did this a few years ago back in 2015 I believe, back when I was a nobody. I still am but I was even lower back then. And uh, that video will now be privated because this one's gonna replace that one. That one was not the best quality at all whatsoever and this one really isn't gonna be either at all because I'm doing this all by myself guys. Like I don't have someone to kind of film me and create like this awesome like really well put together like lookbook type thing. I am not a beauty guru or like a fashion channel or a vlogger like that or one of those like super pretty model YouTubers that has just like the best fashion sense. I am like the opposite of that. I am the most normal person ever. Like I really don't have that much style at all. So if you're looking for a video more like that, um, just click out of this. Like I'm sorry in advance, this is not what you're looking for. I tend to be pretty basic with clothes and outfits, so bear with me. I'm just gonna be showing you guys a couple different, you know, variations of things that I tend to wear when I go to concerts or festivals, both for summer and winter. Most of these can be for either of those. Just swap out shorts with jeans, you get the idea. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this little shit show. I don't even know what this is gonna be. I don't even know if this is gonna turn out good enough to upload, but I hope you guys still enjoy. The first and most obvious choice of shirt that you can wear to a concert is of course band merch. Now I don't know who started the thing where like it's not cool to wear the band that you're seeing um, at their show on their on your shirt. I don't really understand that. I think that's really stupid. Like, I don't understand why people try to make rules and what people can wear and that sort of thing. Like, who gives a fuck? You're supporting the band. It shows that you bought their merch and actually care about them, so go for it, girl. That's a major go-to for me. If I'm seeing that band, I'll try and wear their shirt or else one of the opening band's shirts or something related to them, like in the same genre, in the same scene, whatever you want to call it. Something related to that band. If it fits in with, like, say it's a pop punk show, I'm gonna wear a pop punk type shirt that's like a pop punk band, you know? You're just showing appreciation. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think it's unfashionable, like, because honestly, who even cares what you wear? Like, just wear what you want, first of all. I just had to get that out of the way. But yes, band shirts, totally A-OK. -okay. Do it. Now, if you don't want to go with the band shirt option and you want to do something also casual but isn't, you know, a band shirt, then just wear something that, like, kind of fits the band. Like, I don't know how to explain. Just, like, an alternative type shirt. Like, I have a few shirts that I think fit well for concerts because they're either, like, tie-dye or flashy or just have a cool graphic design on them that just looks cool and fits with the music and just makes me want to have fun and like enjoy myself. Like, I don't know. I don't really go that far out when it comes to this kind of stuff, guys. The most important thing for me is being comfortable above like looking really good so I don't really care that much anymore what I wear to the show. I tend to wear a ton of black, like just like a black shirt, a black tank top, anything like that is gonna fit the scene for me. Now another very very popular outfit choice that I see at pretty much every pop punk show is flannel. I see this at every fucking show, especially in the fall and winter because it's cold. Even in the summer though, I see people at Warped Tour with flannel and I honestly love that look, you know? If it's in the summertime and it's just gonna be a little bit chilly, maybe the show's outside and it's gonna get late, obviously it might get colder, then you could bring the flannel, tie it around your waist for the time being. I see it's so many girls doing that. If you're wearing shorts, you can just tie it around your waist. It still looks very cute and then whenever you get cold, just put it on. That's definitely my go-to in the winter and fall, like for sure especially in the winter because I like layering up. I'll wear like a basic shirt and then have the flannel on top and then if it's even colder, I'll put on like a leather jacket or something. You gotta go with the leather jacket, guys. That is one fashion tip I have to recommend. The leather jacket, very pop punk. And then a really fun summery outfit that I love is wearing kimonos. Now this is perfect for like indie shows or even festivals. I have this really pretty floral kimono that just looks so cute on top of just like a tank top and shorts. Like literally it could be something that simple or even crop tops. That's another go-to for me as well when it's really hot out. I think that just looks adorable over top because it's very light, you know, it's perfect for summer because 
it's just a tiny addition and it's not gonna like make you sweat too much because if you are outside in the sun you know it's still like it's not heavy enough it's pretty much sheer you know it's very see-through but it's just a nice touch to your outfit so that's my flowery kimono that's for like upbeat stuff but I also have the exact opposite kind of kimono it's a dark one that has skulls all over it and that is perfect for like emo music or even 21 pilots I have the best of both worlds there this one like I said is great for like darker music maybe or it doesn't even matter like I wear it to a ton of shows it just looks cute and my favorite thing to pair that skull kimono with is this dark top that I have it's like a crop top and it's very like low cut up here and then I have these soft black shorts that pretty much look like a skirt you know like a black skirt because they're so like flowy and they're very high-waisted those two things together make it pretty much give off the illusion of a romper and that's fine with me but pairing that with the kimono is like seriously my favorite outfit ever at summertime shows I'm always gonna be wearing a pair of shorts obviously I don't know how those people wear those skinny jeans outside in like 90 degree heat like no thanks I would actually die but I either wear jean shorts or else flowy shorts that are like soft I have this pair of floral shorts that kind of thing and if it is in the spring or fall I'm most likely gonna be wearing leggings because they are breathable so I'm not gonna get super hot you know inside or outside wherever we are and you know they're just warm enough that like to go outside and wait it's fine if it's colder out there but if it's hot inside you know they're still breathable so those are definitely a must-have for spring and fall and then for winter jeans or leggings as well I have like thicker leggings that I can wear for winter stuff and then one more outfit that I really love for spring or fall that type of weather that outfit consists of black boots black leggings a floral crop top and a little black cardigan and that gives me just enough to like keep me warm outside if we're waiting to get in because it's that fall weather or that spring you know chill that we still have left over from winter and then once I get inside I still have the cardigan so if I do get hot I can just take it off and like hold it either way I think it is a really adorable outfit and it's actually the outfit that I was wearing when John and I met for the very first time in person last but not least one of my favorite accessories lately you guys know me it's the fucking dad hat. This is another hugely popular trend in like the last year or two. I've seen so many girls and even guys like with these hats, both backwards and frontwards, but dad hats are my shit. You guys know I have a ton of them, so I like to wear one of those. So I think wearing one of those is a nice touch to my outfit as well. It just makes me feel even more punk rock. And last but not least, I am almost always gonna be wearing black vans to a concert. They're just like the regular low cut, the like low pro, I don't know what they're called, just like the regular black vans. That's what I'm pretty much always wearing, like pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time because they are very comfortable and they're breathable and I think they look cute with pretty much every outfit. And I do get very cold so if it is like in the heart of winter, like zero degrees, then I'm gonna be wearing some uh, dark black boots, which I think are also very cute. But yeah guys, that is pretty much the gist of what I wear to concerts. I know that wasn't very impressive, like I'm telling you, I don't know anything about fashion. I can't really afford the coolest clothing ever, so I just go with whatever. As I get older, I really don't care as much what I look like at a show because most of the time I'm gonna be a sweaty mess at the end and uh, it won't even matter anyways. It's not like any band members are gonna be noticing me that night. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what your go-to concert outfit is, whether it's summer or winter. And please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. I honestly had a ton of anxiety uh, before actually filming this video, I was putting it off for so long because I was literally just dreading filming for it, like the parts of me pretty much modeling the clothes just because I'm very self-conscious and I don't normally do that type of thing and I don't think I look very good like compared to all those beauty guru vloggers and all that kind of stuff so it's not really my thing it's very much out of my comfort zone so but I did it for you guys anyways so I hope you guys do appreciate that and please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already I make videos about music bands concerts vinyl all that kind of stuff every single Wednesday and occasional Saturdays and on that note I will see you guys in the next video <laughs>